I'm often asked what is needed to make the perfect podcast. Well, in this video, I'll share my top five tips for making a great podcast. Now, it is going to be an audio focus list because audio is paramount to your listeners' experience and to making an amazing sounding set of podcast episodes. I've been working with podcasters since 2010, and in that time, I picked up a lot of knowledge and ideas and tips to really make your life easy as a podcaster. So let's get into it. Tip number one, sound great. Now, this might sound cliche coming from an audio guy, but it really does matter. The first impression of your podcast comes from episode one when people listen. And if your show doesn't sound good, people are not going to stick around. So my advice is spend the bulk of your budget on a really good microphone to get yourself sounding great from the start. My top recommendation for a good USB microphone would be the Bayer Dynamic Fox. It really is good. And let's hear an audio sample from it. I'm sounding good because I'm talking to you on the Bayer Dynamic Fox USB microphone. It came out on top on my test of many different USB microphones and at just $150, there should be no barrier to your podcast sounding great. Tip number two, use a dedicated recording platform to record your interviews. If the audio quality is important, don't go with something like Skype or Zoom that doesn't necessarily always focus on the best quality audio, uh, and it makes it really difficult for podcast editors to improve the quality of audio when it's already been chopped and compressed down to something really tiny. Go with something like Riverside. mrc.fm forward slash Riverside will take you right there, and you can get an online recording studio that not only does 4K video, but it also focuses on audio. Many big brands use it and you can see that they really are focused on clear, crystal clear, uncompressed audio. Top recommendation, get yourself and your guests sounding good with the fact that platforms like this record you locally and your guests locally. You'll get a downloaded file of their audio. You really will get the best sound for those remotely recorded interviews. Tip number three, plan ahead. Record your show in batches, sit down and record many shows all in one go. Schedule at least a month in advance so you've got a little bit of leeway. You can also work on that perfect call to action in your intro and your outro and use an SEO tool to really dial in on what people are searching for in your particular industry. Now, if you've got big needs and you've got a team around you, you might want to look at something like Ahrefs. We use that here at Music Radio Creative. It's a really good SEO tool. But if you want to get started for free, I suggest something like Uber Suggest, which helps you find out some of the top suggestions from Google suggested search results. And uh, in order to carry this tip out, there is something like the Busy Bee Planner. Isabella, uh, my wonderful colleague, swears by this. She loves a bit of a planner and the fact that it's it's got stripy pink on the inside and the possibility to write your guests' names down in here, it's just going to make tip three, plan ahead, even easier. Tip four, go audio and video. If you're missing YouTube, you're missing a huge trick. As the second largest search engine in the world, don't just get your podcast out to audio directories in audio format, but stick a camera in front of yourself. Use something like Riverside that allows video and audio to be recorded together and upload it to YouTube as well. If you've got a really good camera, then I suggest using something like this, the Elgato Cam Link. It can connect your camera via HDMI into the USB port on your computer, and you can get a really good high quality recording recording using something like Sony Alpha cameras. That's what I use here in my studio. But this will also connect other cameras like Canon and uh, really anything that you want to get connected into your computer to get video as well as audio. And finally, tip number five, use headphones. You always see me wearing headphones, even in my videos, well, because I'm an audio nerd, but it really can help recording a podcast. For instance, you can understand how close or far away you need to be from the mic. If you don't have headphones on, if you're off mic, you'll never know. But if you've got headphones on, you'll know about it. Also, if you've got the guest in the same room, you can correct them and tell them to move closer to the mic. And if they're wearing headphones too, they'll notice they need to be close to the mic. It stops things such as bleed or echo, particularly if you're talking to guests and you're playing stuff on loudspeakers, that can cause all kinds of problems. Now, if you're recording remotely, the choice for your guest matters less, but I would recommend they have something, even if it's just Apple AirPods or truly wireless headphones that they can stick in their ears. It really is going to stop them blasting you out of the speakers and getting that little echo coming back uh, during the recording of your interview.
My number one recommendation for headphones, Bayer Dynamic. Anything by Bayer Dynamic will be good, uh, but I use the DT700 Pro X. It's really good, designed for content creators, and I recommend you to watch the tour I did of their facilities in Germany where they put these headphones together and focus on audio quality. Uh, now, I don't want to say anything like out of the ordinary here, but they did drop a very heavy hint when I was there that they may allow you to customize the colors of these headphones in beautiful rainbow colors. Uh, I can't guarantee that that's definitely the case, but if you watch my tour video, which is linked, uh, you will definitely see a sneak peek of what may be possible. And us creators, as individual snowflakes, love to have unique looking headphones, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to tag your podcasting friends in the comments down below and also share it on social media with other podcasters you think would be interested in these tips. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. If you've not done so already, check out musicradiocreative.com. This is where my team of 200 plus audio professionals can help you with voiceovers, radio jingles, DJ drops, podcast intros, music ads, and much, much more. Until the next time, keep calm and produce all my friends.